Hey guys, welcome back, or Bomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Um, today, people, today, I'm so I'm so lost right now, guys. I haven't recorded a video in a couple days. I'm exhausted. I have so many announcements to talk about, so many things to talk about, but we'll talk about them during the game. But today we are playing an interesting deck I built on stream that uh, I haven't seen anybody really cover, and has been actually working really well for me on stream so hopefully we can get some good videos some good battles here today i'm just trying to open some stuff excuse me remember before we do that remember to drop a like you guys have been killing it with the like button because of you guys i've grown so many subs of the past couple of days that you guys have been hitting that 35 mark so keep doing it remember when we do hit 35 um subscribers or th 35 likes in a video i do give out five i give out to five people two rolling skies and two sun and moon packs so be on the lookout for that we're going to be doing a lot of pack of giveaways for Guardians Rising as well, as long as I can get the packs in. But uh, yeah, it's all up to you guys hitting the like goes. So keep it up, you guys are the best. But today, people, today, we are going to be playing something that my brother actually uh, suggested for me. My brother is um, Cranium. He's like a wannabe rapper, but whatever. Shout out to him. This is the Dark Arrow. And the only reason why I really wanted to play this deck was because he called it the Dark Arrow, and I was like, that's the coolest name, because the inner the inner weave inside of me slash comic book fan is just like oh my god you're you're amazing <laughs> but yeah this is a deck that uses decidui and umbreon gx because they can all snipe the bench and it will add up with time and we can get our exact numbers and it's so much fun let me go over the deck uh, of course we're playing our 3-3 line of eevee umbreon i have to stick with 3-3 space is kind of tight in this deck but uh, eevee is cool quick draw is good this is kind of like the go-to eevee for now on because of quick draw and energy evolution when you attach basic energy from your hand yada yada you can evolve straight into the type that matches the energy you attach. So if I attach a dark energy, I can evolve straight into Umbreon GX. Umbreon GX is 200 HP with the strafe attack when you may see you, uh, which is great because you can strafe into different Pokemon that won't be knocked out. Um, let you switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon, or you can just not switch at all. I'm honestly considering putting a Wobbuffet in this deck, but the space is just so tight. So we'll see. Maybe I can throw one in just for the just for the lols, put in more. I mean, I already have three float zones, so I might as well, right? Shadow Bullet, it does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. 90 to the active. That pairs really well with Decidueye, since Decidueye can really help you hit exact numbers. Ignore my phone. Uh, I ended up getting a substitute phone until I can get my phone fixed. It is a phone that dies every like 30 minutes, <laughs> but it's charging right now. I have to go mute it if it becomes too annoying. And we also have Dark Call GX. Dark Call GX is great in this deck because you can really slow down your opponent while you're putting damage on the board with Decidueye. Getting rid of two energies on the field is huge, especially if you can time it perfect. We are playing two shame for the draw support, and I am playing a 4-4-4 four, four, four line of Rowlet, Dartrix, and Decidueye. Uh, just because Feather Arrow is busted. Put two damage counters wherever you want on the board once per turn, and it stacks. It's amazing. Uh, we can't use Hollow Hunter Razor Leaf because we don't want to put in Grass or Rainbow Energies. Not really a reason to, but its ability is just too nice to pass up. Uh, it just helps with Umbreon, just sniping the board wherever you want. It's really, really cool. Uh, everything else is kind of support. Uh, we're going escape rope, three level balls, and we're doing it, guys. Timer ball. <laughs> we're doing it for the lols because we want to see how many tails I can flip in one video. That's the goal. Uh, I believe that's two trainer mails. I mean, I could always cut the timer balls for trainer mails, but whatever. Ultra ball, four ultra balls, of course, four VS seekers, um, four forest because stadium wars are fun. I think I play four forest. I should, right? Yeah, four forest. Two Sly Sanders, two ends, four Sycamore, standard stuff. No Hex Maniacs. Maybe I should squeeze in a Hex Maniac. Hmm, that might actually be a good idea. Let's cut a Timer Ball for Hex. For the time being, at least. Because I don't feel good not playing Hex with all this item lock in the format. Um, three Float Stones. Four DCEs and I believe seven, no five. Such never mind. Five dark energies. We don't need that much. The deck space is tight because you're playing twenty Pokemon, which is a lot of Pokemon. And I was thinking about cutting down to a three-three-three line situation, but it just didn't work. You need that four-four-four line. You just need it. 
Uh, but that's gonna be the that's gonna be the video. It's not gonna be the video. That's gonna be the deck analysis though. Let's go ahead and get some matches. Let me know how you guys would change the deck. Uh, you guys always have some great ideas. Plus, it's just fun to get different insights. Uh, if you guys want, I can play a Tokus deck. But that's another thing. Let's, let me ask that question real quick. Question of the day. Let me know in the comments down below. This is actually kind of big. Give me like whatever deck you want me to play in the in the, in the um. Let me give me a deck that I can play. Let me know what decks you want to see me play. Let me know what decks you haven't seen played and you really wanted to see. Now look, look, this is Red Plume in our first matchup, most likely. So I'm very glad that I put in that hex. Hopefully we can get it early enough. <laughs> We're going first too, which is really nice. We can put down our force before them, which gives them a harder time playing down shamans and stuff like that. Ooh, unless this happens. Oh, I don't play Revitalize in this deck. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'll take it, I'll take it. We, we, we take those wins. We're almost at that floor end. We're so close. Uh, ooh, we got 15 points from that one too. Yummy. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of stuff to talk about, guys. Life has not been the nicest to me. Uh, a lot of you have been to my streams already understand like the majority of things are happening. But because there's a little bit more, uh, nothing terrible. It's just kind of like schedule scheduling. It becomes a little bit more annoying. Uh, first announcements are I definitely need deck lists because... I don't have time to build right now. There's a lot of things going on in my life which are becoming quite a hassle. Ooh, eradicate disruption. So that's gonna be annoying. Oh, we played DCs too. Uh, that's gonna be annoying, I have to be very careful. Luckily we have Decidueye, which uh, honestly I could just not play energies and win with Decidueye by itself. Um, but yeah, I, I have exams. I have exams and my final exams coming up really soon. Um, ooh, I like these sleeves a lot. As well as like um, other things going on. My family's coming in town again, so you guys know what that means. It's always a little bit difficult to play when my family's in town. But we should be able to power through, hopefully. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, so, yeah, just want to let you know that video slowed down slightly. I apologize. I really, really do. Uh, these things tend to happen whenever my family comes in town. My family's very loud. They're not. They're not the uh, they're not the nicest people. I don't know if I told you guys before, but they really hate that I like and play Pokemon. They're not supportive of that. They think it's a waste of my time, which I mean I can understand. They're they're adults. I mean I'm an adult too. Like I'm almost 25 now, but like I can understand their mindset about it. So I never I never get upset about it or anything like that. There's a forest, but it doesn't help me right now. So I'm actually just gonna play down this Eevee and pass. I don't want to drop a forest yet. Because they could delinquent me and that could be annoying. Delinquent means I lose. I don't want to lose DCE, so I lose the forest. I'll keep Sycamore in the DCE. Yeah, that'll be. This will be my turn though. Um, so yeah, parents are coming in town, which means videos are probably going to be less. But say, speaking of that, what kind of videos do you guys want me to see? I know that you guys really enjoyed my do's and don'ts of uh, Pokemon Guardians Rising. Uh, oh no, mm, that sucks hard. That sucks really hard. The do's and don'ts of Pokemon's Guardian Rising. Uh, you guys really enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching that, by the way. It was a longer video than I thought it was going to be, but it seemed to have good reception. So shout out to you guys. Uh, but I have been doing those deck analysis, card analysis videos, um, live deck matches, which I'm going to make much better. Trust me, I will. Because um, it was my first time. Everything gets better after the first time. Uh, for instance, <laughs> the pack opening video for for Sun and Moon Guardians Rising when I did the pre-release stuff obviously that wasn't great because I didn't have my mic on me and I, I have to say unfortunately that there's probably going to be another one coming up soon um, that isn't going to have a mic as well it's hard to bring my mic with me because it's a giant yeti and it's not I don't have like a case for it or anything and you know it's already like fidgety I don't want to bring it around and break it even more <laughs> to be honest uh, but that's a thing I have to be careful about. What else? What else? There's something else I had to mention. Mm, there was something else. So yeah, because of that, there is a card opening, but the card opening is wild. It is wild, and it's adorable because we have a little kid open packs in the video too, which is just ah man, I love that stuff, man. <laughs> I'm a sucker for cute stuff. So um, because of that, I have a lot of stuff that goes up on the channel, a lot of different stuff. So if you guys want to see anything in specific, let me know in the comments down below. Like a lot of things I want you to let me know in the comments, but you guys are usually really, really awesome about this stuff. So I appreciate you guys. You guys have definitely been helping me through, especially in these hard times. A lot of you know, but for those of you who don't know, in the past three weeks, I broke my foot during football, during kickboxing. I uh, I was cleaning my pool and the, and the bar that I used to scrub the pool snapped and because of that, I fell into the pool uh, really messing up my leg 
and uh, breaking my phone and drowning my phone. So I lost my phone as well, which is not the greatest thing to happen, <laughs> for sure. Can we just kill this if we get a... What's it called? I'm going to evolve this real quick. Um, I just want to strafe the whole game. I don't want to play my DCEs because he already has Eradicate. That's scare terrifying. And it was drowning my phone, so that was annoying. And what's the other thing that happened? Something else happened. Ooh, perfect. Should I land this first? Honestly, if I can land this, I can get another Dartrix. Ooh, things could happen. Let's see if I get some heads. Oh, we got one. All right, so this gets me Dartrix, right? And then Ultra Ball. Eh, Dartrix is all I really need, unfortunately. I can grab another Rowlet, though. I can get Shaman. That is a thing I can definitely do. I'll put a Float Stone on this because it can tank hits and do the do. Ultra Ball to get Shaman. I'll drop the EV. Let me grab Rowlet for now. I have so much to think and talk about. So on top of breaking my phone um, recently, <laughs> oh, recently, I, uh, I was driving home from pre-release and this was like after the video guys, right? The video that you guys saw with me pulling pretty well after winning the pre-release tournament. I was driving home to my lesson and I'm running really low on money because I spent a lot of money on pre-release stuff, right? I'm running super duper low on money and whew, my phone broke down or my car broke down on my phone and like usually this is just like, oh, that's unfortunate. I hate that that happened. This is different. Can I ultra ball? Oof. Um, this is different. My my car broke down because rats got into my engine somehow. Rats or squirrels, they said something about rodents. And <laughs> they got into my engine and chewed up the wires, therefore making my car to break down completely, ruining my car. Like, how does that happen to anybody but me? Like, my luck is atrocious. I don't get it, personally. I'm going to try to kill these Rattatas before they become an issue. I'll strafe into this. Oh, wait a minute, I shouldn't have done that because he has Rattatas. I should have strafed into my other Umbreon. Whoops, I think I misplayed pretty hard there. I have Escape with my hand, but I, I don't want to make that misplay again. <sighs> so yeah, that's going to cost me roughly $800 to fix, and that's like lowballing it. I'm hoping that that's not going to be the case. Can we get Tails? No, never mind then. Uh, we have DC in my hand. If I really feel like Shadow Bulleting, I can, but I don't know if it's my best play. I mean, I knock something out, and then I can damage something, but I don't think Shadow Bolting is my best play. It might be. If I can get another Decidueye, then it's not my best play. Because I want to avoid putting DCs in a discard pile, but he has those Team Rockets, whatever, garbage, and I'm scared of those. He's an enemy. That sucks. Um, which means if he does drop Rattata, I don't have Escape Rope anymore. Maybe I'll get another Flow Stone, though. I cannot, but I got Decidueye with another Forest, another Shaman to drop, actually, which is really nice. I don't really want to drop it, though. He can go into Wob now, which is cool. It's annoying, but it's cool. I can strafe into this Umbreon if I can get another Dark Energy, which is going to be kind of hard because I only have one more left. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> um, he doesn't have the thing, though. He'd have to manually retreat. So, yeah, because of that, it's, it sucks because um, I have to. I'm, I'm, for the past couple of days, I've been finding as much bulk as I can so I can sell it so I can make money, enough money to pay for my car because I need my car because I need to be able to work and go to school. Uh, without the need to get rides all the time. So I had to say goodbye to a lot of my Pokemon cards. I also, as you guys know, I'm a Master Set collector and I do want to play at maximum rarity as much as I can. IRL, because like that's what matters to me more than IRL matters to me more than PCGO. Like I give away my secret rares of PCGO. By the way, three secret rare ultra balls are gonna be given out. Hopefully a fourth one if I can get it. Um on PCGO when I hit twenty five hundred subscribers. Just a quick reminder. Um But because of what's been going on, I had to sell a lot of my stuff that, uh, a lot of my, just, I had to sell a lot of my stuff. Most of my stuff that is based on, oh, I should get this, huh? I didn't have, I don't have a DC though, so I won't be able to use it. But I could damage it, and like, ooh, I can severely weaken it. He'd have it, he might have DCs in this deck, but I doubt it. Um, my, my brain's everywhere because I'm playing the game. But I had to sell a lot of my stuff. I had to sell like two golden nest balls. Um, a lot of hyper rares I didn't want to sell. Can I kill anything? No, I can't. Like just a lot of stuff I feel really bad about selling because I really did not want to. But that's just how it is. Sometimes you got to bite the bullet. And then I'm selling all my bulk 
like 1400 bulk. I, I ended up trading a lot of it before I could sell it to things like, if I can get a DCE, I can knock that out, which is kind of dumb and I probably should have done that first before I did the thing, but let me see if I can do it. Cause I can also weaken this. Oh yeah, I got it. Dang it, I should not have wasted my decidue like that then. Um, you can get rid of that, but at the very least I get a knockout here and I can weaken this thing to knock it out with the next shadow bullet if it doesn't kill me. Um, but yeah, I really hate it. Like I really hate that I had to bite the bullet and lose so much of my hard work to get those cards. Um, but that's just how it is. A lot of you guys have been really cool though. A lot of you guys are offering to give me your full arts and secret rares and stuff like that. Not giving them to me, obviously, like trade them for to me and stuff. Which is like shout outs to you guys. I do want to give back as much as possible. And the fact that you guys are giving back to me, like obviously, like you know, oh, he needs to save his money and not be spending stuff on Pokemon. Like I understand that, but this is my only hobby. Like this is the only thing I do besides work and school, uh, is Pokemon. So. Obviously, I want to keep my master set collection going even during this trouble times. Ugh, there he goes. But that's fine. If he doesn't switch into this, I'm in a good place. Plus, I still have ends and shamans. And yeah, there you go. I'm in a good place. And another dark energy so I can actually strafe between these two. I'm not going to. No, I probably shouldn't now that I think about it. Um, 24. I mean, it's a knockout here at the very least. Is there anything I want to do? I, I could just... No, I can't knock out Wob. I can put 40 damage on it, putting it at 70. It's not enough. Um, I don't want to end Sycamore or anything like that, unfortunately. So if I can get another Rowlet after he knocks something out, that could be nice. Let me just knock out. Let me not knock out the active, actually. Let me weaken things that aren't in the active. Because that saves me time in the future. Let me just strafe this. And I'm not gonna switch. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I guess I could switch to that, but nothing changes. <sighs> like Mike Mulligan has been really cool. You guys have been kill killing it at the streams too. Shout out to you guys. But yeah, family's coming. I'm, I'm checking my deck list. My, not my deck list, my announcement list right now. I talked about my lack of videos due to personal things like my car, my phone, my foot, uh, deck list. Oh yeah, deck list videos, I already talked about that. Um, selling my bulk to pay for my car and stuff. I talked about that. I talked about exams and family about videos might slow down told you about what videos might see oh yeah i'm gonna be doing more pack openings on the channel especially when i get these booster boxes in i might sell a couple of my booster boxes in case i need to um but that's the thing that's happening and yeah i'm gonna try to do more live deck battles now that i have this camera shout out to my friend jenny for really hooking me up with a with a camera and a uh tripod for my birthday a while back <clears throat> Oh, there goes that. It's my water bottle. Just... But yeah, that's everything I pretty much have to talk about. Um, once again, I do want to thank you guys for being really, really cool during this time because it's been rough, but it's been okay. I'm the kind of guy who wants to try to stay positive in the public eye because I feel like it's important to uh, stay positive. You shouldn't waste your time doing other things when you could when you don't uh, you shouldn't waste your time dealing with things that you can't control we got a couple things we can do this turn I, i'll drop this here so i have a couple more decidueyes i can um go into i'm going to lie center this turn who don't want to damage oh i can go into flaring right that's like a two retreat cost no it's a one retreat cost never mind but he can't attack with it at all just handy. What's the HP number on this? I could just get a knockout here. because He's probably just going to retreat anyways. But if he ends me, that could be problematic. Oh, well, I don't care. <laughs> Do not care. I'll go ahead and damage. Because all I need is my DCE. And I could... How many DCEs do I have, actually? I have two more, yeah. All I need is a DCE and I knock out the Wob. So that's not a threat to me. This, on the other hand, is dead. This is dead, and I only have one more prize left after this. If he ends me, it's not a big deal. Do I Ultra Ball? I do not Ultra Ball. And I have a couple outs to this game, which is nice. Yeah, like I said, man, spreading damage wherever you want throughout the game is powerful. I had like two Dark Trick Sprites, that's wild. Why didn't he go to Wob? I guess he just didn't want to be stuck in the active in case I got DCE. Oh, and that's a play too. He has free retreat with that. Um, but yeah, 
What's really nice though is this new upcoming video of me opening another Guardian Rising booster box. Oh, and somebody in the comments of my video, let me actually see if I can find who did this because that was a really good idea and I can't believe I didn't think of it myself. Um, Dwayne Smith. Oh yeah, Dwayne Smith has been showing up to some of my streams as well. He's going to end me. But uh, he told me to give away a code for the one of the pre-release deck boxes. How about I give away four codes? Uh... I don't know, can somebody suggest, I mean, maybe, um, I'm trying to think of how I should go about doing it, because that's a really good idea. I would love to give away the codes, because I don't, like, God knows I don't need them. Um, Dark Call doesn't really do anything. Uh, who do I want to damage? Nothing really worth damaging. I'll just damage this. It doesn't matter because I just once I get a Lysander, all I do is all I do is Lysander for game. He's doing that, but he's not getting the. Uh, is he gonna get rid of the dark? He should. Why doesn't he should get rid of the dark, bro? Like you don't even have Eradicate on the field. At least with the dark, I can't attack you. Um, I guess it's because he knows I can retreat that way, but I can still strafe retreat. So regardless, I'm gonna retreat. And like, <laughs> oh, I see. All right. So we needed that heads really badly, and he got it. So all I need now is Lysander or another energy. A DC or a Dark will win me the game. Uh, obviously I can't do it yet, so I'm just gonna pass. Yeah, DC or Dark wins me the game, because all I have to do is do 30 more damage. If I get a oh, DC, Dark, Via Seeker, or Lysander would win me the game. So I have a bunch of outs. Two Via Seekers, one Lysander, one, DC, one DCE, and no more Darks. So no more Darks would give me that. Oh, Escape Rope also wins me the game. I haven't used that yet, so how many? One, two, three, four, Five outs. And then I have Sycamores, which I've only played one and only one end. And uh, he's going to end me again. I don't really know why. I mean, I'm obviously stuck. Oh, and there you go. I win the game. Oh, God. Unless he lands that. If he landed that, I didn't win the game. <laughs> but he didn't land it, which means I won the game. Actually, it's not necessarily true. I was I Because uh, if I escape rope, then this thing's out of the active. And he's going to bring in this thing. Then I just stay in and strafe a couple more times, I think. No, actually, I don't stay in. I strafe into Decidueye. Because that way, he can't uh, Team Flare ground my energy. And that forces him to drop a Rattata to get me stuck in the active, which I'm okay with being stuck in the active. Um, it's not the biggest deal to me. I'll just strafe here. Because I can get another Flowstone, I still have one more in the deck somewhere. I think. Yeah. I have a lot of outs, is what I'm trying to say. And I have plenty of cards. He can't deck me out or anything like that. He can keep ending as much as he wants. I wish I could gear to more of my forest throughout the game, but whatever. I didn't get enough Ultra Balls at the right times. But this deck is fun for sure. Like, I like it a lot. Oh god, here's a Lysander. What's coming out? Umbreon. Okay, so I still need my DC now. <laughs> or Lysander. <laughs> DC. I wish he didn't have two Wobs on the bench. Nope, nothing yet. He's really stalling this game out. I don't know how he can win this, though. He needs to be able to... He hasn't damaged any of my Pokemon once this whole game. And he has to take knock out a bunch of Pokemon. With I don't know how he's going to do it either. He would need Rattatas and Raticates on the bench. And th they would hit for big numbers, actually. He could actually do it that way. But the second he knocks out the Pokemon is the second I come in with Umbreon. And then I would be able to snipe for Decidueye. So I don't think there's a way out. Unless he plays Max Potions. If he plays Max Potions, then I could see it. But even with max potions, the Raticate only has 60 HP, so that would die. He doesn't have it out to this. He's like just—he's really just stretching this game out. I don't unless he does have it out. I just don't see it. There's an escape rope, so. Oh, I see what he's trying to do. He's baiting me into going out into Umbreon, so that he can play Team Flare Grunt. <laughs> he's really trying right now, but that's game, I think. Unless he has Rattata. Yeah, there's Rattata, which I'm okay with. So he had two. He, he must have had both Rattata and Team Flare Grunt in his hand. But he can't use Rattata's ability because of Wobbuffet. So that means game. GG, bro. <laughs> he went to the thing that knocks that gets knocked out by this. Well played. GG, bro. Then we just stray for game. There we go. First game done. That, that was a good game because I got to talk. It's like it's really therapeutic to be able to talk to you guys. You know what's been really therapeutic lately? Counting cards. I've counted easily over like 10,000 cards. 
this past couple of days. So hopefully I can uh, keep counting, <laughs> but I'm about to run out of cards soon. So that's not gonna be a thing that happens. This might be a shorter video too, because this is probably gonna be, I'm recording this probably the night before it goes out. So it's like 10 p.m. for me, and the video will probably be live at 10 a.m. So at least for my time. Um, so that's a thing. You guys are catching me. This is probably one of the soonest I'm recording and uploading because usually I just wait like a day or two before I upload. We can evolve. We can trainer mail. We have a couple of odds. We have a couple options here. Do I want to grab Decidueye or Rowlet? I mean, Rowlet or um, or the other thing. Um, let's evolve first. We can see what's in the deck. Uh, oh, Welp. We have. Another Dartrix prize. We have two Umbreon's prize, which could be problematic. I don't want to end. We have all of our energy. We have one Floatstone prize. We have an end prize. Uh, we have, that's really good. It's not too bad, actually. Let's go ahead and grab Rowlet. Actually, I should probably grab another. I don't want to end, like at all. Let me grab, I'm gonna grab Rowlet to scare him. Just because I'm playing grass and he's a water deck, so if this is quad lapras is gonna be super duper annoying. Because it's like really hard to play around. Good, now I can grab an extra uh, Eevee, just in case this one falls. I still have Umbreon right there. Um I have an Eevee prize as well. Welp, the dark part of the arrow is pretty much gone. I'll pass for now. I'll make him think I can't do anything. Hopefully, I mean it's really hard for Lapras to attack turn one, especially if you're quad lapras. Uh, at least until we got Aqua Patch. So, there's that. That's kind of nice. I'm trying to think of what else. Because if, if he runs a hammer here, that could be really annoying because I can't attack. But I want to strafe into uh, Decidueye. Oh, there's that. Ah, uh, this eye. I think I'm just going to leave this one active and evolve this one. That way he can't, he can't um, Team Flare Grunt me. Yeah, I think that's my play. I'll touch a DC to it. Hopefully he doesn't see any enhanced hammer right now. We'll DC here. And we'll do this. No forest yet, because this would have been a great hand if I had forest. Hex is not going to help me at all, so Sycamore is going to be my friend next turn. I'll do this and I'll just pass. Hopefully he doesn't have anything great off that, uh... Off that, uh... And he does have another Lapras. Oh, don't land this. Come on, man. Give me a little bit of good luck. There we go. Thank you. Let's let the universe balance each other out from all my bad luck I've been having recently. And hey, there we go. The balancing of the universe. Good luck where I don't think where it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the Sidueye down. There's our forest, which is handy. No need to attach here. Hope they can get a float stone. I'm losing a DC, which is annoying, but what can you do? Um, there's ooh, and two deciduous down, uh, and another DC in hand. No dark, which is a uh, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, do I have Lysanders or something down here? I have an N that could come in handy if he gets his hand way too big. I'll grab the I'll grab this for now, and I don't really want Ultra Ball in my deck. To be honest, you know what? I'll keep one. There's not a point. Actually, there is a point because I'm probably going to end next turn. Unless he plays too much of his hand. I'll grab Decidueye just to have two Decidueyes down. Help spread damage. He doesn't have Rough Seas down yet. Unfortunately, no. No, sh no Flowstones or Shaman. There's one Flowstone prize. There's that to mention. Um, I'm just going to attack. I'm just going to keep doing damage to the active. He doesn't have enough energy on the board yet. He doesn't have he doesn't have rough seas yet. Once he has rough seas, it's gonna be a little bit harder, but it's not gonna be unmanageable. Uh, I don't really have a place to attach his DCE besides the active shaman, and I don't have another Umbreon in the deck, so it doesn't matter. I really want to preserve the shaman, which is why I really want to get a flow stone. There's E Hammer, so now I have a place to attach it. <laughs> Rip. Alright, that's fine though. It's not a big deal. He doesn't have rough seas yet, and that's what matters. Nope, rip again. Rip all the dreams, bro. Can't keep a single dream alive. Uh, and the collect. So I have N. I'm definitely going to play N because that gives him at least one less card. Uh, I don't think he has another 
enhanced hammer in the deck, so I think we're okay now. I want to keep these in the deck because I would love to get four Decidueyes down. Uh, we have one Dartrix prize, so it's not totally impossible. If I can get two heads here, then I have another Decidueye down, which is kind of hilarious. No Floatstones yet, though. One. Oh my god. I'll take it. The question is, do I want a Shaman? Not really, because I just played that Trainer Mail. I'm losing a Dark Energy, which is never great, but... It's better than anything else it's right now, at the very least. So we have three Decidueyes down. Which is going to be really handy, because now he doesn't heal enough every turn. And I don't I don't see a Wobbuffet yet, so... He hasn't attached too many energies yet either, which is really handy. And that's not even counting our Umbreon's damage yet, which we still can't do, because we can't seem to get Float Stones. Hopefully he doesn't delinquent us, that could be annoying, because then we'd be stuck, we'd be in top deck mode. Uh, we have lost one and two Sycamores and one Seeker, which means we're kind of low on options, that's annoying. And he got the head, so DC is gone again. The people don't get rid of Dark though, I feel like getting rid of Dark is better. It's just because they don't know my list, I suppose. I don't have any way to get energy back in the deck either. Which I should put something in back in the deck, but I feel like... Oh, he's on enemy, that's fine. Uh, I feel like with Decidueye, I don't really need to. As long as I have my Lysander options, so I can Lysander around Wob. This is an okay hand, I suppose. He's going to collect again, I'm going to play N for sure. Uh, I guess I'm going to put down another Rowlet. I don't... Actually, I have my Float Stone, finally. Um... I don't actually need to play this. I'll preserve it for the time being. And I will play an N, because once again, hand is too big, too scary, don't want to deal with it. I'm missing my Dartrix, so I don't want to play down anything else. Flowstone and Escape Rope is amazing here. We got DC as well, so we can attack. This is actually a really good hand. I'm going to drop this down now, because I do worry about what he can do in the future. I don't want him to delinquent me or end me or anything like that. We'll go ahead and damage this and try to knock it out. We won't get a knockout this turn. Oh, will we? No, we won't. We'll be like just a little bit short. But we'll be able to do damage and we'll... I don't want to strafe. Because if I do... Yeah, if I do 90, I can knock him out even if he gets rough seas next turn. So un unless he also plays PCL, I'm in a really good position. I'm going to go ahead and Shadow Bullet. Yeah, so we're in a decent position right now for sure. This is a really good showing of this deck. Please get Tails. Uh, DCE is gone again, but we can still strafe. We don't have any. Oh, we don't have any more DCEs. We are done. We are done doing DC doing uh doing strafe, which is problematic because now we can actually be we can now actually deck out, which is a huge issue. Um. I don't play special charge or anything like that in this deck, and I can't hollow hunt either. So, rip the dream there. So yeah, even with this, he's not going to avoid the knockout because he only has 50 HP left and I can do 60 damage, so. Not to mention I can strafe, which is something I think I want to do. Oh, that's a problem, but I have Lysander options, so it's okay. He's going to collect here. I'm still going to play N. Because, once again, the le less amount of cards I can give him, the better. Um, I almost, I kind of want a Dark Call, to be honest, and I can. Do I have another Dark Energy in the deck? I have two more. I want a Dark Call here. Do I want to knock this out first? Oh well, yeah, because I'm not going to, I'm going to Dark Call. Well, Feather Arrow here. He's going to go into Wob to prevent me from Feather Arrowing, which is going to be really, really annoying. I get a Knockout, and I can actually damage Wob before I get the Knockout. This puts him in range of a Shadow Bullet if I get another Dark Energy. And uh, if he doesn't get rid of my energy. It's a knockout here. So we get two prizes. Give me a Dark Energy. I don't think there was one prize, actually. Oh, there's our Umbreons. <laughs> we can actually evolve this now, which is handy, I suppose. At least it avoids a knockout. If he goes into this, which he, I don't know what he's doing. Hopefully he goes into Lapras thinking he can attack me next turn. But I'm definitely Dark Calling this turn. Yeah. We are 100% Dark Calling. We have a Flow Stone on that already, so it's not a big deal. We have Lysanders too, so we can actually work around the... Uh, we can actually work around the Wobbuffet. But yeah, we've disrupted him heavily, but we costed, it costed the majority of our deck, which is never a good thing. 
for sure. He's on a puzzle, probably double puzzle to get more ways to disrupt my energies, which is like his way of winning, and it's a really good way of winning because I can't do anything if he lands hammers. He's probably going to get Grunt Hammer here. Oh no, he doesn't have it. Never mind. I guess he's just super stuck. And I can't end anymore because I don't think I have any more. Oh, he does. I don't have anything in my hand, bro. Sorry to uh, rip. Sorry to uh, let you know. Yeah, I mean, I have two more Seekers and one more end. Oh, I only have. No, I have no more ends, but I have two more Seekers. Uh, I haven't got Decidueye yet. But I'm not going to put down any other Pokemon. Um. Then again, I probably shouldn't have done this because I lost two more cards. Uh, that was probably a really bad play. Because then that's like another target. Nah, whatever. I already made the mistake, so might as well roll with it. Now I can Lysander, which is probably a good play because I can get another knockout this way. He's already in range, so... I don't think he has any tool removal, so I'm safe to switch. I don't want him to Ice Beam me. Then again, I don't really need to worry about that. Let me just start by knocking this thing out. This thing's in front of me. Might as well go for it. I don't have... I do not have Forest. So this is going to take a little bit longer. Probably too long. But... I'll just make do with what I get. Strafe. Yes. We'll strafe into this. He can't switch out unless he gets a switch. Or a Flowstone. I already did 90 damage to him. I was really hoping I could get out four Decidueyes this game. That was the goal, but unfortunately, not only did it's Rowlet Prize, but we didn't get it off that. Let's see if he ends here. I hope he ends. He's in, oh god, he's really going for the deck out game. Double Tails. Double Tails, come on. Come on, Double Tails. Yes. Yes. Wasted his supporter for the turn. We're doing more damage this way. There's our forest, so he can't heal as much anymore. This is great. Alright, so I can do another 204060, putting him at 120. Maybe I should just go for this. 204060. Mm, I don't think it's in my best interest. He might have another Rough Seas. Let me see how many Rough Seas he's played. He's played two. I don't. These, these decks, I think these decks run four. So 100. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna knock out the Lapras. I wish I could look through my deck right now, but unfortunately I cannot. We'll strafe here. Once again, we just keep strafing out so that we don't get any Team Flare grunts on us or anything like that. But we get a knockout next turn. Um, 30 plus 50 is a knockout. Well, then again, we could just do two Feather Arrows, Escape Rope him, and uh, go from there. Unless we top deck the energy. If we top deck the energy, then we just knock out the Wob, I think. But then he can NS to 1, which is exactly what I want him to do now that I'm thinking about it. So, yeah, that's going to be my play. I'm going to try to knock out the Wob if I can top deck the energy. All right. Come on. Because this is a close game. Because he can deck me out for sure if he gets enough flips. Uh, unfortunately, this is why I don't like playing Quad Lapras. Lapras is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon right now, as far as the TCG goes. Because I love playing the uh, Lapras Water Box deck. But I don't like playing decks that rely on coin flips. Because decks that rely on coin flips are never, never good in my opinion. They're just not good. I really, really want to get an N soon. Because, uh, what did he get? He got Flowstone. Alright, that's annoying, but... Uh, once again, we do have we do have escape rope. If he goes into this, I can just snipe this one. I kind of want to save it for an attack, though. Is he gonna pass? Oh, he has a water energy. That's actually a good play. I mean, obviously it's like his only play, but still. Okay, so I escape rope first, right? Yeah, I escape rope first. I think he knows I have the escape rope, so he's trying to make me burn it. He did see my hand earlier. I don't know if I had escape rope then, but. What are you going to do? So I have two Seekers in the deck, potentially, and an Energy in the deck. There's so many outs I have right now. But I can put myself in a better end position, which means it puts more card in my deck. I'm afraid of the Team Flare Grunt. If he gets two heads, uh, then I have only one turn left, which means I really need to rely on these prizes to give me something good. <sighs> but yeah, he's trying to decide if he wants to go into Lapras, forcing me to play all of my, uh, or two of my um feather arrows on it or if i should attack it if i okay that that does that does give me the least amount of damage output here 
because I'm wasting 10 damage this way. But uh, I could just get a knockout here. What if I do this? What if I bank on the N? Or the energy off the prizes? How about that? Let's try that. That sounds like fun. Let me try that. Let me bank on the N or the energies off the prizes. Either or is great for me. Because N means I can give myself a longer game. Energy means I can knock out the Wob. I got neither. That sucks. That's really bad for me. That's like super duper bad for me. But I can get Decidueye out. I'm afraid of doing this though, because Team Fl I can't I can't get Decidueye because Team Flare Grunt will ruin me. I'm gonna keep the floatstone so I have an option to place it down on something. Uh yeah, Team Flare Grunt will ruin me if I play that. I'll strafe here. Unfortunately all I got was a Dartrix, but I can get a fourth Decidueye down. I just need him to not Team Rocket's handiwork me to death. And if he does, I need to get an N. <laughs> Not even an energy, I need like the N because <laughs> because I lose if I if he if he rants two heads. I'm like I'm like thinking worst case scenario in my head. He seems to be stuck. How many seekers has he played? He has played he has played three hammers, not four. One team flare grunt, one N, Lysander, two Ns. He really has a different a lot of different arts. What is he playing here? Is that that's PCL, that's a good play. Because now I can't win with Shadow Bullet. And he's trying to uh, he's trying to put himself in a position. Oh, okay, good. Now if I end, and if I, if I Ultra Ball for Decidueye, I drop Shaman and Umbreon. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because I'm getting a card from it. Seven from two. I'll draw two, that means five turns left. Five turns left. If I strafe every turn, I don't think I can actually afford it. I think I have to keep as many cards in my deck as possible. What I can do is go into, is like, I could Lysander into Lapras, but no, then then I'm risking the Team, team Rocket's handiwork. I am going, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the end play. Like I'm giving him more cards, which is very scary, but this is the only play that I feel comfortable doing because that means I don't lose to Team Rocket's handiwork. Got the dark energy. I'm not gonna use it yet. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it in my hand just in case. Uh, in case like he gets rid of an energy here. This is my last energy. I can put it down there. I can put it down on the other Umbreon and strafe between those two. So yeah, I'm definitely not attaching that yet. I'm strafing here though because what I can do is um, attach it next turn to surprise him. That would be Shadow Bullet, which would pretty much guarantee me the game because between three Decidueyes and Shadow Bulleting, I win. Let's see what he can do here. He would need another PCL, and he needs to stream PCLs. Let's see what he has here. Oh, don't have... Oh, he's going for the Team Rocket's Handiwork play, I think. Because I think that's his only way to win right now. And if he gets heads, then we lose. Oh, come on, get those tails, man. Get those tails. Mm, thank you. God, he must be mad right now. Oh, no. Tails. Yes, okay, he did get rid of a lot of my energies this game, so he can't be too mad about that one. But he is preventing me from going for Shadow Bullet safely. Um, oh yeah, I can't Shadow Bullet anymore. Because this thing's all set up. And I don't have enough turns. So I'm not going to Shadow Bullet. I'm just going to Strafe a couple of times. And hopefully he can't get out of this situation. Because if I Shadow Bullet, he comes in, he paralyzes me, right? And then I can't attack because I already used on my Escape Rope. Because he still has his GX attack. Mm, this is problematic. If I had a Lysander here, that would pretty much be game. I still have one more Seeker. No! Well, Shadow Ball play is gone forever. That was a really good play. But we can still Shadow Ball a couple more times for game. I think he's preserving it for next turn. He might have a Seeker in his hand. How many Seekers has he played? I still don't remember. What's he playing right now? I don't... Oh, he's playing a Belt. That was a good play too. He's going to win this game, I think, now. Just strafing continuously. Um, how many Seekers has he played? He has played only two. He still has two more. Ah, this is problematic. I don't know if I have a Seeker left in the deck either. I, I, I haven't searched through my deck, and I should have. As the game, as that was my own misplay. is not searching through my deck, so I'm super unconfident of what I have. Get those tails, man. I usually get those tails. I need you to get those tails. And I need to get my Lysander, because Lysander wins me the game, I think. This man is really playing this Team Flare Grunt. 
I mean, it is his best play. Oh my god, he is mad. He is pissed. All those tails, man. He is pissed. I don't even blame him. I'd be... I'd be so angry if I was my opponent. But that's three Seekers. That's three Seekers, unless he plays like a Seeker Rare. Let's see if he has one more. If he has it right now and he lands two heads, we are in a... We are... Oh, he's going to end me. So I get two other cards. Good. Let's see what I get, though. <laughs> Same cards. Rip. <laughs> Uh, this is problematic though, because once again, next turn, if he lands two heads off that grunt, I lose. I get the knockout here, which is really, really big. Oh my god. This is game changing. I knock this out while putting damage on the board. I can't end anymore. This is my play. Stop. This is definitely not my play. This is my play. Hello? <laughs> All right, I think this is my play. This puts damage on the board, letting me knock out Wob, because Wob has 150 HP right now, right? Oh, it's too much. I have to put two on this thing. He's going to paralyze me, though, which is problematic, but not the worst. So it's another it's another thing in my hand. What is it? It's an Eevee. Ugh, why are you always giving me useless prizes? Now we return. He doesn't have another Wob. He could always switch into a Wob if he puts another one down. He's gonna paralyze me. It's gonna be annoying. I can still use my ability before I die though. I could also let him paralyze this on Brian, which is probably gonna be my play. Let me go into this one. Cause that one doesn't have any energy or ability that I can really use right now. I can just retreat for free. Let's see what he can do. If he gets that Team Rocket's handiwork win, then Shout out to my opponent, he deserves it with all those tails, honestly. But I think I went, oh my god. Don't get it, dude. Like, I don't... It's his play. No. Oh no. Oh no. I can't look. Guys, let me know if I win. Okay, I'll peek. I'll peek. I'll peek. No. He got it. He got it. He deserves it. That was... There was too much in that game, man. That was too close of a game. Ah. <sighs> Man, he plays Energy Recycler. This deck is weird. Nest Ball, Professor's Letter. I mean, I get his deck list for sure. He plays Silent Lab as well. I mean, I get it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that was one hell of a battle. Okay, bro, not right now. Um, That's going to be the video, guys. Uh, What can I say? That was a good game. I want to keep this for sure. I want Recursion. Super Odd. Seems okay, but I don't want to put back Pokemon most of the time. I like Super Odd more than Revitalizer, only because I want to put back Energies in the deck. If I were to drop something... Mm, it's tough, right? Because look how tight the deck list is. It'd probably be a Trainer Mail, honestly. Like Trainer Mails are usually the first things to go. I like the forest count, I like Hex. Obviously Hex didn't do anything in those games, but they help against item lock. Uh, I'm probably going to do this. Unfor I hate having only one Super Rod in a deck list that wants consistency, but I mean, I'm mean i putting damage on the board, so as long as I can get it off early turn, I'll be okay. Put Super Rod in the deck. And yeah, that's going to be the deck. That's going to be video, guys. Be sure to drop a like if you haven't already. Let me know... <laughs> Another question of the day, since for those, for those real viewers that watch all the way to the end of the video... Um, if you, what is your most amazing, awesome, cool, rad, bad A, because I'm trying to be more appropriate, uh, deck names? Uh, I have two. One of them was from a viewer. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, the Dark Arrow from my brother and the Devil Stampede being my Giratina Tauros deck. <laughs> Those are two really cool names, man. But yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Drop a like, subscribe, share all the good jazz, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.